you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to look at the development of a cylinder now if you look at the top right corner of the screen you see a question on development we are told to develop that cylinder right and the cylinder has a base diameter of what 38 and a height of what of 62 right so what you are going to do here is you first of all draw your horizontal line in this manner you draw your horizontal line in this manner right and you're going to draw your vertical line also this way you draw your vertical line in this manner all together now from here should be the center of the what of the cylinder now we're told that if you look at this symbol here the symbol is giving us what as 30 um is representing diameter so since it's 38 we take half of it which is 19. so i'm going to measure 19 on my meter rule this manner i'll measure 19 0 to 19 this is what we have here right and i'm going to place it at the center i can place it any point on this line because this will represent the base of what of my cylinder so i need to draw the plan of it so when i do that i'll be having this which i am going to take in you can see that now if i have done that I'm not going to draw the edge. I'll take them upward, right? I'll take them upward from the circumference of the circle this way. And I'll come here so I'll take them upward from the circumference of the circle this way. You can see that? So this is the base of the cylinder that we have here. You can see now the next thing is the height of the cylinder is given to be 62 so i'm going to measure 62 in this manner so this is 62 this way and at this point is 62 All right and i am going to close it up this way and i'll close it up this way together with this way you can see that now the next thing I'm going to do is this is a cylinder just a cylinder we know what a cylinder is this is just a cylinder right so when you talk about a cylinder you're talking about something like this you can see that we're talking about something like this a cylinder in this fashion right and that is where you're looking at the way you're looking at it you see it as a straight line this way now we want to develop the cylinder developing it means you're going to divide here into what into 12. so what i'll do is i'll take my t square i'll draw my horizontal line this way you can see that now with the radius i used to draw the circle you can see and I'll mark up. I'll come here also. I'll mark up. I'll come to the topmost point here. I'll mark here. That is where the line intersects the cylinder. I'll mark here. Then I'll use my meter rule and draw a line that will be passing through the center of the circle from this point I marked on the cylinder. This manner. From this point I marked on the cylinder in this manner. From this point, I mark on cylinder in this manner. From this point, I mark on cylinder in this manner. Right? You can see that. Then I am going to put it this way, like zero, right? One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five then six 
You can see that. So I will now project all those points upward with the help of my C square. I'm going to project this point upward from here. Right, which I can easily zoom it so you get to see what I'm trying to talk about. So I'll project this point upward from here. We already have that. Then the next one, project it upward here. Then the next one, upward here. The next one, upward here. The next one, upward here. Right, so this is the first thing you do. Now you can just through the line so that your development will not be touching the main diagram. So I'll rule a vertical line. That line that I'm ruling, I'm going to mark that line. I'll call it my initial point. I'll call it point what? Point zero. Right. I'm going to call it what? Point zero. Now I will take the radius of this. Each of these division, any of them, will, I will take. Then I'll just come here and I'll mark. This will be one. This will be two. This will be three. And what? And twelve. So if I should name that zero zero one two three four five six five four three. Two, one, zero. So I move from zero back to what to zero. Is that okay? Now the next thing is, I'm going to draw, close this up at this point, placing it on my T square. I'll close it up this point, and I'll come here also close it up this point, this point here. You can see that now all those lines i'll just project them up paint line you can see that we've done that now i would have easily just ticking from here to here if this is my actual figure, right? That means from this point straight down to this point, to this point, to this point is the development of this figure. So I can easily tick in it. So if the, if I was you and this was the actual question, we should develop it. You are going to tick in all these lines here. Yeah? So this is what it means here. You know this is my cone, right? So this is development here. So if I want to do have my way, I am going to. Taking it from this point to this point and from this point to this point and also from this point to this point then this to this so that is development of that cylinder looking at it this particular thing if I should open it up you see what I will have here if I open it up if I open it up, this is what I will be having. Something like this. Look at it closely. Right? I'm going to be having this. Let me take it down a little bit. I'll be having this. And this is the four point you have here. Right? And this circle, which I can easily um, draw out, is this. So this is the development of this figure, right? Now, aside from that, the particular circle that you're seeing at that point is, if I place it at 0 and 6, right? You can see that from 0 at these two end here. I can easily take any point here at point 3 here with 0 and 6, right? At point 3, I will just draw a vertical line down here. Which is anything I would like to do there. Just draw a vertical line, or better still, just bisect from point three at the center here. If I won't do it here too, if I want to, just bisect from this point here. I just draw a kind of semicircle in this point. 
right then i'll place it at this junction here i'll select an arc place at this junction here also select another arc so where they meet i'm going to connect those points this way now see then if i should do that i want to take the radius of this circle here this point and i'll take it to point three mark here come here and i'm going to have my circle this way all good that is what we actually have there this manner here or we have this this way you can see that the fourth point here to here to this point to this point i will have this all good now aside from that if you look at the top right corner of the screen the cylinder is now truncated right it is what it is now truncated so we want to draw the development of a first room of a cylinder so we are cutting it at an angle of what 45 degree so when i take my 45 degrees square right and i place it at this point this is another question entirely and i place it at this point right I place it at this point this is 45 degree so i'll bring this down according to what you're seeing at the top right corner of the screen so it will be touching this point here you can see that we're now ticking here now so this is the actual question this is the actual question here right this is what we actually have now what you now do is this so we now truncate it we now cut this into two this way is that okay now so what i'll do is where the line meet at any of these points like this is point zero right this is where zero meets zero so i'll move it to that point where zero meets zero is at this point you can see that then the next one is this is two point two this is one point one let me zoom it up so you see what I'm trying to say. Let me take it up. Now this is point one. Where one, right? That is my point one here. Where one meets one here. I'll take it to the line of one. Right, you see? Line one meeting point one at this point. Right, this is zero. And this is one. The next one is two this is line two line two we meet other line two here this way at this point line two the next one is three between three at this point so I'll draw this we're gonna meet line three this is three three meeting three here Right, the line of three meets three, then four, this is four. Four is moving to gonna meet four. This is where four is. Four meeting four here. Point of four. Right? And the next one is five. Take five here, this is point five. Five meeting five. At this point. Here yeah, is point five. You can see that. And the next one is six, which is already there. Point six up here, the highest point. This is six. Moving to meet six here. You can see that. Then the next one. We we'll move forward again to. We start coming down from six. Go back to five. This is five again. It's coming down. So we we'll move and elongate this again. To the next line which is five this is five then four again four is coming this way four meet four i'm gonna get you to that point of four you can see that then the next one is three three again it's coming down move to the line of what 
of 3 the next one 2 2 again you extend the 2 to make the line of what of 2 this is 2 then 1 1 again you extend 1 to go and make the line of what 1 right then 0 you extend 0 to go and make the line of what 0 are we good now what we'll do is we're going to draw that and when we we'll draw that, the shape that we'll be trying to get, right, will be this shape. So this is when you cut here up, right? If I bring the shape out, you can see. I'm bringing that shape out this way, the same symbol. And when I open it, I should be having this shape here, right? This thickness here, this thickness. So let me draw out this thickness. This thickness you're seeing here is this thickness here from here to here. So I'll thicken it. Right? The entire base here you're seeing here is the entire base here. Right? Then this symbol here from here to here is from here to here so I'll take in it then the next one is this curve here right there's a curve at this point here so I'm going to join this curve using the help of what my French curve so if I use my French curve I'm going to join from here to here to this point right so let's do that and see how so about this. Then I'll come and take this also. So I'll take this too. This will be this. Right? And this also. Then here, this is what we have. This shape you see, we brought it out, right? And the other one that we have here, which is this. So I'll bring it out. That is what we're actually having. Right? So this is what we call the development of what? Of the first room of a cylinder. Now initially we did that of a cylinder and that of a first room of a cylinder, right? When you say first room, it means that you've already caught it, you've truncated it, right? So if you have um, found this video helpful, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also don't forget to what? Share the video. Thanks for watching.